Let's talk about multiplying four consecutive numbers. Let's look at an example. So to find k, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first and last numbers together. So 10 times 13 is 130. Then we will add 1. That's it. This is k. There's an other way to get k. We can add the middle two. Or rather, we can multiply them. 11 times 12 is 132 because of the 11 trick. We write the 2, we add these two, that's 3, and we write the 1. If we choose to multiply the middle two, we have to subtract one instead of adding one. This is also 131. Both ways will give us the k. Let's look at another example. So we can multiply the first and the last, or we can multiply the middle two. We need to choose whichever one is easier. In this case, this is easier because we have a trick for 37. So 36 times 37, 37 is 111 divided by 3. The 36 cancels with the 3, which is 12. And so we have to multiply 12 with 111. So we write the 2, we add the 2 plus 1, that's 3. Then we add 2 plus 1 plus the imaginary 0, that's also 3. Then 1 plus 0, that's 1 and 0. So we have 1, 3, 3, 2. And if we multiply the middle two numbers, we have to subtract 1. So let's subtract 1. This will be 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is our k. Let's look at one last example. Again, we have to either multiply the first and last or the middle two. In this case, the middle two is, again, the easier one because we have a trick for 25. So we have to multiply 25 times 24. So 25 is 100 over 4. The 24 cancels with the 4 to give us a 6. 6 times 100 is 600. And then we have to subtract 1 since we chose the middle two. This is 599. So our k is 599. Now this trick can get a little bit complicated, so this requires a lot of practice. I've linked a practice worksheet and its answers in the comment section, so make sure you go check those out.